Hey y'all, it's your girl Bree. So Jay Park and One Mill did a collaboration video for his single All I Wanna Do and he was wearing this zipper split flannel and I had to recreate it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into that tutorial. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need two flannels obviously of different colors. You just wanna make sure that they're the same length and the same size. You're also going to need a zipper for the back and the length of the zipper is going to depend on how long your flannels are. So the length of my flannels were 36 inches so I made sure that my zipper was 36 inches. Our first step is cutting our flannels in half. So you want to find the center of your flannel and cut it in half. Once you're done cutting, you'll have two halves to make a whole flannel. Now that we have our two halves cut, we're ready to sew on our zipper. So I put the what would be considered the bottom of the zipper at the top, starting from the collar, and I ran it all the way down the bottom. And how you're going to attach is using a straight stitch a quarter of an inch from the edge. Now it's time to attach the second half. So making sure that right sides are together, we're going to line our second half of our flannel up with the edge of the zipper and using a straight stitch, a quarter of an inch stitch all the way down. Now your two flannels should be attached with the zipper running up the center. Next we're going to fold down our collar and tack it in place because the zipper adds stiffness and we don't want our collar to be popping up, I mean pop collars ain't in anymore. So we're going to tack it down in four places. We're going to tack it down twice at the bottom and twice at the top. Obviously to finish off the bottom, I just tacked up those tails so that it is finished and nice and your flannel is ready to be worn. Now for the ultimate test. Oh, oh. Oh, there it goes. All right. That's it, y'all. You can be stunning on them like Jay Pork. <laughs> 